How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today is an updated money method video. You may have seen a couple weeks ago I did a video on how to get money fast in Forza Horizon 5. Well since then one of the things included in that method no longer works. That was the skill point sort of thing within the Supras where you could buy Super Wheel Swings of skill points. This has been sort of removed from the game which means my money method video isn't complete anymore. This is version 2. This video is on a new method that I've put together which is sort of tweaked a little bit to work after the current patch which means that you can still get millions of credits per hour legitimately on Forza Horizon 5 with no glitches or anything like that just playing the game in my money method. If this video does help you out guys please do consider subscribing to the channel let's get into how to get money fast in Forza Horizon 5 after the patch. Now there are two sort of steps to this method. One of them is how you get a load of money and while you're doing that you'll get given tons of skill points and the second sort of part to the method is how you spend those skill points to get loads of credits. But essentially part one of the method is doing a race which I created. This race does 10 laps up and down the highway. It is super easy to do, it's in a straight line, it's 10 laps up and down, you barely have to be paying attention but as you're doing this race you'll get tons of skill chain points building up as you can see on screen which essentially at the end of the race would give you tons of skill points this race takes about 35 minutes to complete which isn't a long time and at the end of the race you'll get a bunch of xp and credits anyway along with the skill points you can get my race and i've created by doing several things you can either go to this race on the map which is at the right hand side of the highway go to um, browse events and somewhere along there you might find my event which is called highway xp method as you can see on screen that's what it's called alternatively you can search for the share code which is on screen right now you can click the search button and put my share code in and play the race that way or if you're still having issues add my gamer tag which is in the top left hand corner um, restart your game after adding me and then go to the friends and followed tab within the, um, the browse blueprints and you might see my race there but essentially play my race it only takes 35 minutes you can use whatever car you want however I highly recommend using a speed skills boost car or an XP boost car an XP boost car will give you more XP a speed skills boost car will give you more speed skills which means more skill points the skill points also means more money so use whichever boost car you want I recommend the Mercedes GTR which is a speed skills or the BMW X5 which is an XP boost so yeah this is step one do this race again it only takes half an hour and it's so easy to do because we're not losers we don't do that stupid afk driving exploit we actually drive ourselves with assists off which means we get a bit more credits and xp because of the assists being off so after this race you'll get a ton of xp and a ton of credits and then you will then have a ton of skill points built up as well now it is time to spend those skill points on some cars to buy super wheel spins with this no longer works with the super or the willis jeep but it does work with the following vehicles the first vehicle this works with is the porsche cayman gts from 2015 the red one this car you can buy for 80,000 credits as you can see on screen and when you go to the car mastery of every car you buy you can unlock a super wheel spin for 11 skill points yes it was five now it's 11 it's still worth it because there is also a normal wheel spin to the side of it as well so essentially for 14 skill points you can get a super wheel spin and a wheel spin not too bad you'll definitely recoup the 80,000 credits you spent on the porsche cayman from these um, wheel spins so after doing my race every 14 skill points you get you'll get a super wheel spin and a wheel spin if you buy the Porsche and you will also get credits from that race which will make you able to afford all these Porsches. There are other cars you can do this with, for example you can do it with the Pontiac Firebird Trans AM GTA. This car only costs 25,000 credits, it's a super cheap car to buy, however it costs 14 skill points just for one super wheel spin. So it's a lot cheaper than the Porsche, however you only get one super wheel spin instead of one super wheel spin and a normal wheel spin. Does that make sense? So this is up for you to pick. Do you want to spend 80,000 on a car and 14 skill points to get a super wheel spin and a wheel spin or spend 25,000 on a car and spend 14 skill points to get one super wheel spin? It's up to you. Whatever you want to pick, just buy loads of that same car and just continuously buy super wheel spins with all the skill points that you earned doing my race. 
That's not the only car it works with, it also works with the 2017 Nissan GTR. This car does cost a lot of credits to buy, it costs just over 100,000, um, but you only have to spend 10 skill points to get a super wheel spin. So it's the cheapest out of all of them, but it's the most expensive car. So what I'd recommend doing is going into your auto show and just see if you have any of the 27 Nissan GTRs already laying around. If you do, jump in it and buy the super wheel spin essentially a free super wheel spin without having to buy a car. So the Nissan GTR, the Porsche Cayman GTS and the Trans AM GTA Firebird are all cars you can use to buy super wheel spins in the car mastery. You don't get as many as the Supras unfortunately, but it's just over double, which isn't too bad. However, if any of you guys manage to find any other cars that are cheap to buy and cheap to buy wheel spins from in the car mastery, put it in the comment section below and help each other out. Maybe there's one better out there than the Porsche and the uh, the Trans Firebird. You never know. Now, because you're having to spend even more skill points to get these super wheel spins, it means that skill points are one of the most important things about this method. So I'm actually going to show you another skill point gaining method if you can't be bothered to do my race. This method will give you the most skill points possible to buy super wheel spins from these cars. The Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition is the best car in the game for getting skill points. If you have it, buy it for one thing. Max out the car mastery and then make your way to the motorway, but make sure you are in Horizon Solo. As you can see on screen, I start in Horizon Life and there's no traffic at all on the motorway. As soon as I go to Horizon Solo, traffic starts spawning and you really want to traffic because as you can see on screen, with your car mastery fully maxed out, just driving at full pelt down the motorway and getting all these near misses gets your skill chain up so quickly. You can go from zero to 50,000 skill chain in less than a minute just from going up and down the highway, which means you essentially get five skill points every minute. Make sure to use skill songs if you get them, but if you need, let's say, 14 skill points, you only have to do up and down the highway for just over two minutes to get enough skill points to buy a super wheel spin, which means essentially one super wheel spin every two minutes. It's, it's a bit more than two minutes, but if you involve skill songs, you'll get them even quicker. So every two minutes, super wheel spin, that's 30 super wheel spins per hour. And you can imagine how many credits you can get from 30 super wheel spins, crazy amount. And this is just from doing the Sesto Elemento method. If you do my race at the beginning of the video, you'll get even more. This is the updated money method video. Do my race, get loads of skill points, buy those Porsches, the Nissan GTRs and the Trans AMG, whatever they were. This is the new sort of best way to do it. This video is quite similar to the one I did a week ago. However, there had to be some tweaks and I've had to add the odd thing like the Sesto Elemento thing just to make it a bit more accessible for people who can't be bothered to do my race. It only takes 30 minutes. Go and do it. If you have any questions about this method, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later. Bye.